Hi guys, Sassy Cassie here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my July favorites. These are going to be my monthly favorites for July, but they're also kind of going to be my summer beauty favorites, uh, or summer beauty must-haves. I think like a lot of these are staples in your summer beauty collection, or your beauty, you know, your summer makeup bag. Things that are light, um, not heavy on your skin, um, but also, you know, get the job done as far as makeup wise you need coverage still you know I mean I spend a lot of time in the sun and my skin tans a little bit and I try not to wear foundation but you know there's just those days when you know your face ain't having it. First I'm gonna start off with my um, Stay Flawless Benefits um, primer and a lot of girls have been talking about this purchased this at Ulta and I'm like in love with it. It's a 15 hour primer the packaging is adorable. I'm not gonna do too much about that because that's like everybody's thing. Um, but this has a really silky feeling to it when you put it on the skin um, and it moves around really nice and it definitely gets the job done as far as primer. I really like this um, on my forehead and it keeps my face mattified as well. So this has definitely been um, great for the summertime especially when it's a little bit hotter out and I'm definitely sweating during the day. Um, I love this primer. And I think it'll transition well into the colder months because it's not heavy or sticky. Um, and I feel like it melts into my skin really well. Um, but this is a good primer is definitely a must-have for the summer to keep your makeup in place all day. Going along with that, my favorite foundation for this month. Um, you guys might have seen this in my Target haul, but it's the Magic Nude Liquid to Powder L'Oreal Foundation. Um, I am in the color 324 be Buff Beige. Um, this is definitely going to be my summer color for this foundation because it is um, just a little tiny bit dark for me. Um, but you know what? A little bit of this goes a long way. So it's a liquid to powder formula, which means it goes on as a liquid and finishes like a powder. One reason why I really like this, you don't need a powder over it to finish it, which is a huge thing in the summertime. Who wants to cake powder on their face? No one. So this is an amazing foundation for that reason. Um, two, it is very liquidy, which I like because I'm able to move it over my, um, you know, blend it into my face really fast um, without it sticking or, you know, that kind of, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Without it sticking and staying, it's very workable. Um, and a little bit of this goes a long way. I really like this, um, I like using this with my fingers, but sometimes I'll go in um, around my nose, my eyes, and any like areas that need a little bit more coverage with my Real Techniques face brush. Bought this at Ulta, they're buy one get one half off. This is an amazing, amazing um, foundation brush. It's not super dense, but it doesn't suck up product either. So it gets the job done and it blends really well and you don't have brush strokes on your face, which is like a pet peeve of mine. I have a pro brush from Sephora and it's kind of similar to this dome shape and it leaves brush strokes on my face. And I have to go over my fingers and I'm almost like, what's the point of that? Another product that I think is a summer must, especially when you're kind of doing your makeup to go out or a party or something like that, is a highlighter because you might already be bronze, but you're not gonna have, you know, you might wanna just enhance your summer glow. This is um, something I got in a sample from Be um, from Ulta. This is the Benefit Sunbeam, and it's a golden highlighter, which I think is really important for the summertime instead of like a white shimmery highlight because it's gonna give more of that summer sun-kissed summer glow. Um, so here it is right there, and just like working it into the skin, it has a really light, um, iridescence to it and up on top of a bronzer on top of your regular tan it looks amazing so um, once this is out I'll definitely be repurchasing this it'll probably get me through the end of the summer um, but I really really love golden highlights for the summer I think that's a summer must have for your um, summer makeup bag one trend I've kind of been loving for makeup for the summertime is if I'm not gonna go heavy on eye makeup that day maybe I'll just do something in the crease to define a little bit I like colored liners for underneath my eye. So some colors I've been loving is this bronze color. This is a Wet n Wild colored icon pencil in bronzed. And I'll swatch this for you. Um, this really kind of, again, with that golden highlight kind of trend, um, just like highlights your face, makes it a little bit more glowy. So I've been really loving this. Next is an Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in Radium. This is a really pretty aqua blue color. It has some shimmer to it, um, some metallics, and that's really, really pretty underneath the eyes as well. And then I believe I showed this, but this is the Revlon uh, Photo Ready 
could gel. Um, it's double-ended. I like this one, um, this end, for kind of like my inner corner and my waterline. And this is in the shade... Okay, this, this side doesn't have a shade color, but this is in Purple Rain. And I really like this. Purple complements brown eyes is really well, which is what I have. And purple is my favorite color. Um, it's a little more of like a royal blue base purple, but I really, really like this underneath my eyes as well for the summer. So color liner on the um, lower lash line is a really big summer trend that I like because it's simple. You don't need a ton of product on your eyes, and um, most of these pencils are waterproof, so it'll last all day. Mascara for this month. The Revlon Lash Potion. Um, mascara, this is in Black is Black. Picked up the right color for once in my life. Bought this when it first came out, and I honestly use like five mascaras at once, and I have like six unopened mascaras that I just keep buying. It's ridiculous. Love chunky mascara brushes like this. Really gives my lashes a full um, voluminous look, and it stays all day. And I absolutely love it. It's in Black is Black, and it's an amazing mascara. And the whole deal with this is it's supposed to volumize and lengthen, and it's waterproof. Waterproof mascara is a must for the summertime. A really awesome thing in the summertime is if you could find a cream blush um, that you could use for your lip and cheeks. Usually, most cream blushes are dual use like that. I really like this color. It's in Fresh Melon. It just gives a really nice peachy glow to your cheeks, as well as it gives a dewy look. It's on the bottom here. And you can dot it on your lips as well as on your cheeks. So this is a really great makeup bag product because it's dual use. You don't have to carry a lipstick around if you don't want to. Maybe you just carry a gloss to put on top. Um, and I like this color because it gives a real fresh look to your face. Um, and I'm obsessed with all these. There's um, one I want right now from Bobbi Brown. It's Coral Calypso. Calypso Coral. Something like that. That's my next purchase from these. And the lasting power of them is amazing. And I was going to say they have SPF, but they don't. So it's in Fresh Melon 24. Love this. So um, a really nice lip combination I've been loving um, is this Gemma Kid Lip Claw Lipstick in English Rose. I showed this in my What's in My Bag video. It's a little melted. But it's just a really pretty kind of natural pink color. Um, almost a little bit nude. And then I like using the Sugar Bomb. Um, Benefits lip gloss over it. I also got this in that little sample pack. Um, but that's that lipstick, right? It's a really nice, almost neutral lip color combo to go with for the summertime. So something in the pink um, range, depending on your skin tone, um, that would kind of determine the color. But this is a really nice kind of combo for the summertime. This is pigmented enough where you can wear it on your own, but if you prefer to have a lipstick, this is a really nice one. Uh, a curl defining spray. Everybody wants to let their hair dry natural in the summertime. That's one of my favorite things about the summer, not having to blow dry my hair. I got a lot of hair. It takes a long time to dry. And in the wintertime, I'm not walking outside with wet hair and getting icicles, if you know what I'm saying. So this Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl, De curl Defining Cream um, is great because it brings out my natural curl. It smells really good. Um, and I don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And I believe this is like $5.99. I think I showed this in my CVS. This is an empty, but definitely a favorite of the past month or two. And this is the L'Oreal Power Moisture Moisture Rush Mask. Um, and it's a deep conditioning treatment. And it was like a green kind of gel consistency. Um, as you can see, it is empty. But I really like this because I don't wash my hair as often. Or I try not to wash my hair as often in the summer because I don't want to dry it out. Um, but, you know, you're sweating at the same time, so it's like a, there's no happy medium. But this really added moisture to my hair, made it really stylable and just, like, pleasant to work with. It got all the tangles out, as well, it made it smell really good. Um, so I really, really love that, definitely repurchasing that. Yeah, guys, that's it for my favorites this month. Uh, let me know what you've been loving this month for, um, July, or, yeah, July? I have no idea what time it is, of day, or week, or month. <laughs> but let me know what you've been loving for the month of July below and let me know what your beauty must-haves for the summer are if I haven't showed something here that you like or you want to let me know something I should start using for the summertime definitely because I love trying out new products. So if you'd like you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My name is SassyCassie8 and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Sassy later.